Hello, Geminis. This is your X reading for the 24th through the 30th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what you guys have going on currently. Let's see what Gemini's current situation is. Hmm. Strength. I feel like there's something that's bothering you guys. There's something that you um, that has come to your attention. I feel that um, you're, you're kind of struggling to wrap your head around it. Um, maybe there's something that you guys have realized that, um, you know, you, you believe it, but then again, you don't. It's like, you know, you, you're trying to come to grips with something here. Okay. Could be a Leo that you guys are involved with. Um, does not have to be. But let's see what your ex's current situation is here. Let's see what Gemini's current, Gemini's X current situation is. Gemini's X. Hmm. Leo Aries, possibly, but this is an Aries card. Um, this person's not doing anything. Like, they're not making any moves, um, but not make, making any moves towards you. I'll say that. Now, keep in mind, too, this energy can go vice versa, guys. This could be you that's doing this. But this person right here, I feel like um, they've got a lot going on in their personal life. And I think they have to be a certain way. Um, they have to be the rock for the people that um, that's in their lives here. Um, they're running some shit. Whether it's their household, whether it's a business, um, whatever that is. Um, they're, they're running things currently and I feel like this person is probably um, busy with with other areas in their life and they're, they're really focused on that and I think they're so focused on that trying not to um, think about anything related to love but they're again they're trying not to okay so keep that in mind let's see how you look at them. What do you think about them? What do you think about your ex, Geminis? Think they're moving on? Um, you think that they talk to a lot of people? They may be dating currently? Um, this is how you're viewing them though. That um, maybe you guys want to reach out to them. Maybe you want to travel to them to see them if you live far away. Um, or this is this person that's doing a lot of traveling, a lot of moving around, engaging with people. Again, they could, you know, own their own business, um, or they could have a big family that, you know, they have that family gatherings a lot. Um, a lot of people around them, I feel here. Okay. I also think you guys are, you know, kind of avoiding communicating with this person and I feel like that's a struggle for you I feel like a lot of you want to hmm. a lot of fiery energy going on here let's see how your ex views you Gemini's ex how do they view Gemini hmm 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 I think that um, this person is in the, in the process of um, judging you. <laughs> they are deciding something about you, um, whether or not you know to try to give this another chance, um, whether or not um, you are really for them, whether or not they should reach out to you. Um, and tell you something but there's something that they're in the process they feel like you're in the process of of deciding as well it's like there's something going on between the two of you where I think one of you is one of you is deciding whether or not to communicate to the other one deciding whether or not you want to bring something back or whether to let it go 
but I think this is more about which one of you is going to communicate Scorpio energy here hmm they may also see you as like you've had an awakening um, this person uh, there's something about this person I feel like this person has like this inner knowing and they may like be a healer um, they may read energies because this is how they are viewing you like you're being judged during this time as well okay very strong energy here let's see what your feelings are about getting back together with this person I think it's definitely on the brain I think that um, you know there are a lot of things that brought you happiness this person made you happy um, for the most part and I think that you know of, of every other relationship maybe maybe you guys are feeling like you know this was the one that got away possibly hmm. a lot of you are struggling like fighting with the with whether or not to communicate with this person about you know how you feel about them wanting to get back together a lot of you are struggling with that like going back and forth with that um, I think there's a lot of things in the past that's keeping you that happened in the past is keeping you guys from um, reaching out how does Gemini's X feel about getting back together Gemini's X feel about getting back together I think this person is, you know, if you, it depends on how you come to them. It depends on how you come to them is what I'm getting here. If you come and they really feel like, you know, Gemini really loves me. Gemini really wants to offer me commitment. I think, you know, they will be gung-ho. I think they will be all in for it. But it's going to have to be... Um, it's going to have to be all in with the Ten of Cups, okay? Not half-stepping. And I think that's what they're waiting on here. The Wheel of Fortune is on the bottom of their deck. Brand new cycle coming in. They're waiting for this wheel to spin out what they feel like they've put into it. This is karma. They're waiting to get what they deserve. Okay, and I feel like they they think what they deserve is um, the ultimate fulfillment in a relationship. I mean, that's what everybody deserves if that's what they want, you know. Let's see what you can do to increase the chances of you guys, you know, coming back together here. What can my Gemini's do? Hmm. Be willing to do whatever you need to do. You know be willing to you know listen to this person's gripes about what they feel like went wrong i mean whatever this is being able to carry the burden and go the distance be all in go the distance deal with whatever issues come your way Declare that you know you no longer want to be single. You no longer want to date. You only want them. You know that sort of thing here. Okay. Let's see what they can do to increase the chances of this connection coming back together. This relationship. What can Gemini's ex do? Hmm. I think they can be willing to hear whatever it is that you got to say and then when it comes to their time to speak to go ahead and you know raise that sort of truth and say whatever it is that they feel like you know they need to contribute to this situation because I think this person is waiting to hear some truth 
they're not you know they will speak the truth if they if they have some to speak but i feel like you know most of this i feel is all on gemini okay this person may have some air in their chart as well but yeah they they should just be willing to you know hear what you got to say let's see what the possible outcome is here what is the the potential outcome for Gemini and their ex. What is the potential outcome? Potential outcome. Hmm. The nine of coins. I'm thinking that, you know, There's some avoidance here on one of your parts because, of course, this energy can go vice versa, right? So, Gemini's, you could be the one down here at the bottom. You know, this, like, thinking that the other person is being judged, being called to answer whether or not they really want to be in a relationship, okay? Um, but whoever's here at the bottom, I feel like, Somebody in this situation is going to choose to be single between the 24th and the 30th anyway. It's only for a week, guys. Um, but this person is getting their confidence back. And I think they're focused on their coins right now. We see this with the emperor. They're focused on um, just feeling good in general doing the things that they like to do, travel, um, what have you. And I think, you know, this is coming about because, you know, currently there is, there is, um, you know, somebody here is really struggling whether on whether or not to reach out, whether or not to communicate about, you know, if they want this relationship or not. So in the meantime, this person down here is like going on with their life. You know, they're not missing a beat down here, whoever this is, okay? But we have the Ace of Pentacles right here. And of course the Ace and the Nine is the Ten. That's a very stable relationship with the Ten of Cups as well. It's like you guys can have it all. So with that being said, I don't think that this person would be completely um opposed to like you know being in a relationship but i feel like they're not going to be the ones that make the move here with the emperor they feel like they've done everything that they could do okay now let me say this because i'm doing in the next couple of weeks i'm going to start doing an extended version of this and if the the potential outcome is a positive card then i will pull um, another card to predict a possible time frame when this could happen okay if it's an indication that somebody is is going to try to reach out okay so but that's in the next couple of weeks guys but i'll let you know when that happens and a link will be below the video when that does happen okay so i will be speaking with my gemini soon and um you guys be good